Welcome back everyone. Party in the Park is an annual summer community event presented by Urbandale Parks and Recreation. It's all taking place next Friday. Joining me now to preview is Parks and Rec Director Jan Herkey. Jan, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Super excited to talk to you about this event. We were just saying this is kind of like an end of summer party for Urbandale residents, for families and their kiddos. So tell us about all the fun things you guys have in store. Next Friday, we'll be having the party in the park. This is our second one of the year. We have one earlier in the summer, and like you said, the end of the summer, great for the kids and family. It's activities for all ages. We have live music, um, inflatables, a number of different inflatables that are extremely- Those are popular. Oh my gosh, a whole outfield of a ball field is right. full of inflatables, um, laser tag, mini golf, so something for all ages. This year, we're gonna have some uh, educational information about monarchs. The mayor did a, a Mayor's Monarch Pledge, so we want to educate the community on that as well. And uh, of course, people come for, let's come for dinner. So we have a variety of different food trucks and the beer truck. Those obviously are a cost, but otherwise everything is free for the community. Um, come enjoy. That sounds great. And of course, Urbandale residents are invited, but for any of the surrounding metro areas, can, can families come as well? Absolutely. Anybody that wants to come and enjoy it. We usually average between 2,500 and 4,000 people, um, wow. just depending on the weather. And hopefully we'll have some good weather. Uh, Hopefully your meteorologist can help with that <laughs> next Friday. Looks like it's trending in that direction for the party in the park and the state fair too, which is a great sign because of course we get that extreme heat normally towards the yes, end of the summer. Um, tell us about, is it free? What do people need to know before heading to the park? Yeah, the event is five o'clock to nine o'clock. Um, and like I said, live music and so forth. So um, there's some waiting in lines mm -hmm. when you have that many people, a bounce house and so forth. Um, so what's really fun is a variety of different food for the food truck. So you Ooh. can sample different food. They've got the beer um, and different beverages. Uh, and it's located at Walker Johnson Park in Urbandale, so 9000 Douglas Avenue. So it's situated at our softball complex. Mm -hmm. And so in the outfield of, of different fields, you have different activities. And then the band is in the bandstand right in the center of the four fields. So it's a wonderful setup. We've got playgrounds. Uh, it's our regional park, so we have some neat playgrounds. If, if you're waiting in line or the kids want to play on the playground, there's those activities that we have at the park year round as well. Awesome. And for everything that you just mentioned, all these fun activities, the events, the, maybe the live music lineup, where can people go to find more information? Uh, they go to the city website at uh, www.urbandale.org and you can find more information about it. Perfect. And as you mentioned, the event is free. You need to pay for food and things like things right. of that nature. Okay. So right. maybe just bring some cash. And like you said, maybe you can just come out, have dinner with the family, make it, make a night out of it. Absolutely. That's what a lot of people do. And it's been since 2018, we've been doing this and it's it's just been a fun event and, and fun to showcase our regional park as well but families getting together and meeting new people and when your your kids are jumping in the bounce houses with other kids they're <laughs> they're making friends as well one big party for the kiddos too before they go back to school and exactly I'm sure they love that. awesome thank you jan for joining us and hope you get a great turnout out there I, we appreciate it thank you absolutely